angiotensin II then affects blood pressure through four separate mechanisms. First, it causes vasoconstriction of the smooth muscle in the tunica media, and this raises blood pressure. Second, it stimulates the thirst centers of the hypothalamus. When the brain generates the drive of being thirsty, one is more likely to seek out water, and this increased fluid intake will raise blood volume and thus blood pressure. Angiotensin II will also stimulate the production of two additional hormones. ADH, the antidiuretic hormone, also known as vasopressin, which is released from the posterior pituitary. This hormone causes the kidney tubules to reabsorb more water so that less is secreted in urine and more is reabsorbed into the blood and the adrenal medulla is stimulated into making the hormone aldosterone, which causes renal tubules to reabsorb more sodium chloride, which then causes additional reabsorption of water, thus increasing blood volume and pressure. And so hormones have a major role in increasing blood volume and blood pressure when it falls.